the violence prevention experiment that we formed in the San Francisco jails that I referred to, uh, the seed money for the original pilot project was given by George Soros, who is a super rich guy, obviously, but on the left rather than on the right. Now, was that dark money? No, I mean, it, was, it was open. I mean, it's an open society institute, which you found it. Um, but he's probably a good example of the fact that not all super rich people are the same. Um, I mean, as you said, it's important not to tar everybody with the same brush. Soros and Koch have funded exactly the same thing. In fact, Koch have come in on Soros's footsteps. The exact same projects, that's why I think there's something right, more I mean, going on down there. What, what, what I think what's interesting about what you say is that you won't find it uh, a hypocrisy just there, right? Like I, I gave an interview for something called, um, I think it was uh, Mint Press, right? And they asked me about uh, the, the moral fabric of liberalism. And I said, listen, it's very hard for me to hear or take the president seriously when he talks about Black Lives Matter because I can hold up a picture of Trayvon Martin, of Michael Brown, of Kai Gurley. We can keep going with all these black and brown faces that have been killed by cops. Now, here's something else, Mr. Obama. I have some other pictures of some black and brown faces that were killed by the drone strikes that you've ordered around the world. And when we hear the excuses for why these drone strikes are happening, they sound a lot like the most conservative excuses for the reasons that some innocent child who's carrying a bag of Skittles gets murdered by a neighborhood watch guy that should have never gotten approved for a license. So I think that when we talk about the, the hypocrisy, it's so sunken into the culture because no one's actually no one's actually forced to have any sort of accountability. Yeah. Right? There's no there's no there's no spotlight on them. And because <laughs> an individual such as yourself who would even bring up that question even in the most liberal setting, would be dragged out of the arena and said, oh man, we gotta get these people out of here. You know, they're the far left. No, they're the real left. The corporate left is the people who set up a structure and said, hey, we're gonna form a Democratic Party and we're gonna give people votes and you know, then we'll have a, a dog and pony show over the 2006 election because we need to split the black vote in half. It's too powerful. I mean, these are things that are, that are incredibly obvious about it, but I think that when we talk about individuals such as Soros or other and other people. I think when you're at that level of billionaire, you know, you have so many pieces on the board, you're playing so many games at the same time with individuals that obviously, you know, morality is out the window. You know, th there's no basis for that. People don't people don't say, oh man, is this right what we're doing? No. Is this right becomes replaced by is this profitable? Mm -hmm. You know, if people were doing this for uh, the right reasons, you know, they probably wouldn't be in the same financial situation that they're in. You know, even an individual who has immense wealth, more wealth than they could probably spend in their life to the point where it looks like a, like a video game, you know what I mean? For adults, they, they still aren't gonna go to the, the factories that make all their clothes and secretly hand people money. Why? Because they think that that's gonna set a precedent for people to want more. Right? In the same sense, I asked my father once, because we, we lived in Peru, which was a dictatorship. I said, how come the dictator who, who makes so much money wouldn't give you know, five million, 10 million back to the, the pueblo, to the people? And my father said, because behind the general, there's a colonel. And if he did that, then the colonel would think he was getting soft, he would bump him off, take his place, and that's the end of it, because they live by a pyramid scheme. So I, I don't think that those individuals uh, are really bound to the morals of left or right by the time they get to the top. Those people live in a world where there is no such thing as a right or a wrong. To them, there's just what is and what isn't, unfortunately. First of all, thank you.